Okay, our last component for class is applications with quadratics. And we want to go over a few problems of some sample applications. Our first problem is going to involve projectile motion. In this particular problem, we have a ball that is thrown upward. It is modeled by the equation f of t equals 64t minus 16t squared, where t is the number of seconds. And f of t is um, the height in feet. We want to find two parts to this problem. How long will it take to reach the maximum height? And B is how high will that be? So two things we're going to try to find in this particular problem from the model. Now, um, just a little sketch to try to help you visualize this. We've um, thrown the ball upwards. So the path of the ball looks like the parabola. So the height of the ball, the maximum height, would be at the vertex of that parabola. So this is where the maximum height is going to occur. So this is the path of the ball. Even though it is thrown upwards, um, it still resembles that path of a ball of the parabola being thrown. It may not be quite as wide as I have drawn here straight up and down, but it is the shape or path of the ball. So the first thing we do is to find x equals negative b over 2a, and that's going to give us our number of seconds by finding x. So in this equation, the B is, and it's turned around, so be careful there, the B is 64 and the A is negative 16. So we have the opposite of B, which is six, negative 64, and 2 times A, so 2 times negative 16. It's going to give us negative 64 over negative 32, which is going to give us positive 2. So that means that it takes us 2 seconds for the ball to reach the maximum height. The next thing we want to do is to find out how high does it go. So we take this answer and we plug it in. So f of t will be 64 times 2 minus 16 times 2 squared. And we work that part out. And so that gives us 
128 minus 64, which is 64. So it takes two seconds to get to the maximum height, and the maximum height is 64 feet. So that is a sample problem for um, finding or using projectile motion. This is another example that um, kind of falls under the category max and min types of problems. You'll often hear that used with um, quadratic type of problems. So we have um, a factory that produces um, lemon scented widgets. The more that they produce, then the cheaper the widget production becomes. until we reach a certain point. And that is storage costs. So X is the cost of production. Of 1,000 units. Per day. The model of production is C equals, we got this big long formula, And we want to find two things here. We want to find the daily production level that will minimize costs. And what are the costs at that level? Now, if we graph this particular problem, it would be looking something like this. And so if we're trying to find the minimize point, we're still trying to find the vertex, but it is a minimum point since it's opening up. Whereas on our projectile problem, that was a maximum point since it was opening down. 
So if we're still trying to find the vertex, we're still using x equals negative b over 2a in order to find that vertex. So using our model there, we would have the opposite of b, so negative 8.504 over 2 times a, which is 0 0.04. And we work all of that out, and we get 106.3. Now, remember that our production cost, or that's the number produced, but it is uh, times a thousand, so the number produced have to actually take that number 106.3 times a thousand which means we actually produce 106,300 units per day. So our first part was to find the daily production level that will minimize costs. So that is the number of units that we would produce per day. But we had to go back and remember that that had to be multiplied by a thousand in order to figure out that number. The second part of our problem is what are the costs at that level? We still are going to use this number, the 106.3, not the one where we multiplied by a thousand. So we're going to take that number and plug into our model equation to find C, the cost, 0 0.04 times 106.3 squared minus 8.504 times 106.3 plus 25,302. And when we work all of that out, we should get the amount of two four eight five zero point zero one two four. Now, if we're dealing with money, we wouldn't leave our answer in that form. So we would change that to a form for money, 24850.01 for our cost. So that gives you a couple of examples for applications that you're going to be dealing with in terms of quadratic problems. So that gives you a little review what we've gone over in terms of everything in terms of our videos today.